hi there welcome back to fairies tutorials now this is not a tutorial but just a video to give you some good guess for your exams as we are a couple hours away right now I'm gonna provide you with some examination tips and also some examination phrases that we should uh, understand so that we can answer the questions whatever questions that we get adequately right now we're starting off with our examination tips and I have seven for you here today and the first one I want to say is question value what does this mean now take note of the value of each question before you even attempt to answer the question guys so for example if you get to define define the term food infection and you see two marks now you know that your definition that you will give should be suffice for those two marks not to put in words that are uh to make it long but to have substance good now another question to might be discuss the impact of uh, obesity or we may say lifestyle diseases on Caribbean citizens and you may see see what six marks good now you know that you should have three points and at least enough information to get two marks each for each point as well as it would be nice also if you can include an example as well good so note the value of the question before actually attempting or before you answer the question good all right our second tip is stay calm and determine what exactly does this mean what this means is whatever goes wrong if you're taking public transportation and somehow you can't get the ride on time or somehow you may be having you may have private transportation and somehow maybe the tire something goes wrong good that is unplanned what i'm trying to say is stay calm don't let anything ruin your day good and also be determined determine that you will finish the paper determine that you're not giving up on a particular question and you're gonna do your best all right three eat your breakfast please i know some persons may be anxious and when we're anxious anxiety may want us not to eat ensure that your tummies are full so you can concentrate and you can think all right so do not skip your breakfast or fourth analyze questions carefully so for example you may not see you may not see a question that says uh list three functions of carbohydrates but you may just see a question that says outline the importance of carbohydrates in the diet of a teenager you know so they twist it up question like those that uh makes you think so sometimes even though you will see question for you to recall and outlining that uh those functions you may also see a question that wants you to think about the needs of the teenager still thinking about the functions you know guys but you're supposed to put yourself now in that thought process where you can be flexible all right so we analyze the questions carefully and ensure that we don't misinterpret another tip too is whenever you see a question that is familiar please read the entire questions phrases may change but the question may be similar and you're there thinking that because you know the question you didn't you don't even read the entire question and you misinterpret the question in which you already know you would have known the answer for but because they didn't read properly right you mess up so please ensure that you read those questions carefully look out for the key phrases if you're supposed to define suggest explain and in a while we'll look at what uh it means to define what what is required of you when you're supposed to explain or state all right 
Number five, relax, relax, man. Please get adequate rest. Don't work yourself up. You may be saying, oh my goodness, I'm seeing videos after videos. And some of these comments are saying, uh, you wish that you found the channel earlier. Yes, that is true. But guess what? Working up yourself will also will not help you. So relax. Trust your knowledge. Good? Read carefully. I believe you can do this. Right? So you go out and you will do your best. Don't give up on any question. So for instance, you're on a question, let us say time management. Good. So you get two and a half hours for your paper. Time management is very important. Good. So for instance, you see there's number two question and somehow you're having some form of difficulty answering number two question. Guys, don't spend an hour on number two move on and guess what when you have time you come back to that question another technique that may work for some persons is they they do the questions that are easier to them and sometimes they leave the most challenging for the last or things that they may not remember and sometimes guess what throughout the paper you may find some clue that help you with a particular question right so look at the items carefully. Don't spend too much time on one question where you notice that time is running out, but there are some questions that you were able to answer. And then because of time, time uh, loss, you didn't get a chance to answer those. Okay. So remember time management, very important. Show up for your exams on time and showing up on time help you to be relaxed as well. Good. Awesome and get adequate rest get adequate rest i cannot emphasize this enough resting is important it is important for the brain and for you to function and for you to just uh reproduce the knowledge that you know and put it down on that question paper relax it's six questions even though we got all of those study topics guess what there are only a certain amount of questions that can come from those topics. Good? So I believe you can do this. Don't give up on any question. Do your best. Only your best is good enough. Right? Even if you're not sure, it's best for you to try than leave the space blank. Because you, 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 you may never know. Alright? Now, let us move on to some examination terms, which I believe are very important for us to understand as these uh, terms are popular exam examination terms that come on your exams, right? And the first one is define. What does it mean if you're supposed to define? You state concisely the meaning of a word or term. Good. As it relates to discuss, you present, you present reasoned arguments. Good. Consider points both for and against and also to explain the relative merits of the case. Now this varies. So for example, we're discussing um, the effects of say obesity uh, on Caribbean citizens. We don't just say persons die early. Why is it that persons die early? You try to or have low life expectancy. Try to explain and go in details when we're discussing, give examples so that you can get the adequate amount or you can get maximum marks for the question. Good. All right. As it relates to explain, you give reasons based on recall or account. All right. Now, the next set of terms that we're looking at are identify, outline and state. Now, as it relates to identify, you name or you point out specific components or features. For example, identify the uh, nutritional assessment. You may list, you may identify such as anthropometric, biochemical, uh, clinical, or dietary. All right. Now, the next key term is outline right and what you do when you're outlining you give basic steps only and as it relates to state you provide factual information in concise terms so it's not explaining it's not outlining it says concise good so in terms outlining a particular explanation good 
all right now we're about to end off and i just want to wish you all the best remember only your best is good enough relax be confident be determined don't give up on any question i believe you can do it and i know you can do it all right and i will end with this prior for you a student prior so say it with me father please clear my mind and give me the understanding and knowledge that comes only from you bless me as i take this exam and bring the information that i've studied to mind when it is needed on this exam grant me favor as i begin this test I ask this in Jesus name. Amen. Good luck guys. All the best. I'm looking forward for all the comments. Right? That you ace the exam. Let me know your feedback. How was it? What particular thing came back based on what you saw here? And just do your best and take care.